The facility is fully mobile. Once at its destination, the unit is positioned and detached. The unit is then levelled automatically and the sides housing the sensory booths can be deployed. And following the setup, the lab is ready for use. Okay, so uh, here we are at the um, SIEC CT unit, having taken delivery of the SIEC CL uh, Meat Sensory Lab. I'm talking to Holger Schmidt from TMT. Uh, Holger, tell me, uh, how has the build been for you? It's about a year ago when we spoke last. Yes, it's uh, exactly one year ago. That's a funny story. Today, one year ago, we, we, we spoke the first time uh, what is possible, uh, how can we realize a mobile sensory lab. And, uh, and here it is sitting here be behind us getting set up. Now, what are the unique features of the lab? Yeah, it's a special a special trailer, extendable trailer. We have a um, preparing area inside, which is a, 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 ki a kitchen. Uh, we have 12 uh, sensoric cabins inside, um, HVAC system. Uh, we have a heat exchanger to, to uh, uh, deliver fresh air inside uh, the laboratory. Um, yeah. It's a big project. So who are you going to appeal to to be the panellists? So the whole concept, um, the idea behind the whole concept is, is to capture data from consumers, the general public, in large numbers and large quantities, um, capturing as wide a demographic as we possibly can, so that sort of citizen science. When do you anticipate uh, that this will be out uh, for real? So following some initial trials internally, uh, we, we expect to be using it fully in the next, in the next few weeks. The facility is entered via two rear doors, which takes any participants into the sensory evaluation booths. Six booths on either side, 12 in total. All booths are equipped with tablets loaded with sensory evaluation software and can be customised to cater for any specific requirements. Three different lighting options are available, natural lighting, warm white light and red light if required, homogenising visual aspects of any samples being tested. An HVAC airflow system ensures the constant supply of fresh air through the booths, independently of the extraction system and air conditioning. The commercial grade kitchen area is fully equipped with a sample preparation area, refrigeration, dishwashing and ample storage. Cooking facilities include an electric induction hob and two, in two electric ovens and includes integrated commercial air extraction. The kitchen area may also be purposed as a laboratory area for use of the related first stage meat quality equipment. This includes water baths, contact grills, mechanical tenderness assessments including Warner Bratzler, Mirrens and Rapid Slice Shear Force, objective colour measurements, pH and near infrared fat analysis including total fat and fatty acid profiling. Some of the more advanced equipment that is related to the mobile facility includes near infrared reflectance spectroscopy and hyperspectral imaging facilities. Um, I'm introducing Fiona Fell, Deputy Chairman of CL. We're in the Mobile Meat Lab, um, funded by CL. What, what are your first impressions, Fiona? Well, I think it's a fantastic facility that's going to really bring uh, consumers uh, and members of the public in to uh, help look at improvements in, in meat quality and meat taste going forward. So I think it, it creates a, a fantastic new opportunity. Excellent. Do you see CL funding more work in this sort of area? I think it's really uh, fantastic to have a mobile facility, which means that we can really go out to access uh, different groups of consumers uh, to, to get their views uh, and to help them drive improvements in food uh, to benefit them for the future. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce Casey Woodward, business manager for CL. Um, so this is us in the mobile meat lab as funded by CL. What, what are your first impressions? Uh, I think it looks fantastic. I think it's really, really interesting. I think there's uh, lots and lots of great stuff that can be done here. I'm particularly like the, the kitchen space. I think that's great. And I think that will give loads of versatility to, to potential projects. And I think the, you know, the whole tablets uh, to guide um, the participants throughout the trials um, is really innovative. Uh, suggestion looks really great. Cool. Do you think um, CL will be interested in more work of this kind of nature? Absolutely. I think as our membership continues to grow, there will be lots of opportunities to, to trial um, uh, this kind of facility out with, with our membership base. You know, I think that uh, the great thing about CL is that we span 
all the way from the farmers through to the processors through to the retailers and I think that actually um, by having that kind of joined up approach we can really maximize uh, the impact that an asset like this might have uh, for everyone and ultimately you know uh, generate sort of um, new products and services which, um, which will hopefully go a long way to improving things in the in the in the livestock sector. Excellent thank you very much.